What's up guys? Today I want to talk about my top three O-Light flashlights for any occasion, any use, any role, whether it be tactical use, EDC, or utility use, one of these three lights will fit that role for you. Before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about Olight Summer Cell. Starting on July the 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time through July the 14th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. There'll be a link in the description below to take you over to that sale, which you can save up to 40% off certain items. And remember, if you ever see anything on Olight's website that's not on sale, you can always use discount code YEARRUNNER to save 10%. All right, let's get into this. Okay guys, so let's start out with EDC because that's what a lot of us use lights for. That's what a lot of us uh, do with flashlights. We EDC these things every single day. And I find myself going back to this light over and over and over. And I've tried different lights and I really like other lights, but the slim design of this really make this light hard to beat. And I just keep finding myself going back to it no matter what other lights I try to use or think I like better. They just never stack up to this. And I am talking about the Olight Arcfeld. Now you can get this in a couple of different ways. This one happens to be the UV light. Um, so it has a switch right here that switches back and forth between a UV and a um, cool white light. I think you can get these in neutral as well. Uh, I do prefer cool white. And uh, you can also get them with a the laser instead of the UV. Now I'm gonna tell you about the max lumens on these, but later in the video, we'll do a beam shot of these. It's not really a beam comparison. I'm just gonna show you how the beam looks in the backyard because I don't think this is a direct comparison video. This is just more of what you can expect if you want this light for EDC or tactical use or utility or whatever. I just kind of want to show you what the light's going to look like um, when you get it. So this one has a max output of a thousand lumens, which is more than enough for EDC. And uh, of course it has a low, medium, high and a turbo mode. Like I said, we'll go through all of them later on in the video. Uh, but look how thin this thing is. I've done numerous videos on this light and I just keep going back to it. I really, really like the art field and uh, I just can't say enough good things about this. There's a couple of little things that I had to complain about in another video. Like sometimes in your pocket, it'll switch over to UV mode and it, like twice I think I've had it come on in my pocket. But that could happen with any flashlight with like these side buttons or anything like that. So that's not a big deal. It's only happened a couple of times, but for EDC, I really think it'd be hard to beat an Olight arc film. Okay, next we're gonna go into the utility world of flashlights. Um, taking your dog outside at night, you know, just looking for something in your car, looking for something around the house, just going through the house in the dark, you can turn it down on moonlight mode and not wake everybody in the house up. But what am I talking about? I am talking about the Baton 3 Pro Max. This light is amazing for utility work. It's 2,500 lumens on turbo. It has so much spill. It ain't even funny. Um, when you're taking your dog out or whatever outside, just wanting to see what's going bump in the night, it just illuminates everything and you can see anything or everything that may be in your back front side or on top of the house, whatever you want to look at. Um, this thing will illuminate it. And I use this light all the time. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I have a little Shih Tzu. I've had that little pup for 16 years. He's one of the family now. And every time I take him outside at night, this is the light I pick up. This is the cool white version. All my lights are cool white. That is what I prefer. Um, but this thing is two thumbs up for utility work. If you if you just need some kind of utilitarian light to sit around the house, um, you can set this um, in the kitchen and just somewhere that's convenient to get a hold of as you're walking out the door or just somewhere convenient to get a hold of so that you just need to pick up a flashlight uh, this definitely is my top choice for that. I use this light all the time. Probably my second most used light next to the Arcfeld only because I EDC this. If it wasn't for EDC in this light, this light would definitely beat out the Arcfeld in use. Um, and I dropped it a minute ago and it just barely got a scratch. Uh, the finish on these things are pretty tough. Um, and of course, all of these are rechargeable with Olight's rechargeable um, cables. It's just magnetic. You just stick it to it, it charges it. When it goes from red to green, it's done. 
All right, let's get into the tactical light. This is Olight's new light that they just sent out. This will be available during this sale, and it is the Warrior Mini 3. I want you to look at this. This light is beautiful. Look at that blue color that fades into that black at the bottom. This is one of my favorite color lights that they have sent me. This thing is, is just beautiful is all I can say about it. That, that blue, I don't know why here lately I've got on blue kick. I like blue cars. I like blue flashlights. I've, I've just got on a blue kick and I really like uh, this kind of matte metallic finish that's on this light. And this light has 1,750 lumens on turbo. One thing I do really like about this light that I think beats most of the other lights out for a tactical light. That's why I'm throwing this in the tactical world. The other ones have these side buttons to turn them on with. This one has the side button, but it also has a tail cap. Now, why is that important? Because if you hit your side button, it's gonna come on probably medium. And if you soft press this, it's gonna come on medium, the tail cap, but if you hard press it, you're getting all 1,750 lumens every time you hard press it. Uh, it goes straight into turbo mode. So if you pull this out and you're in a, a high stress situation and there's you know an attacker or somebody that you're fearful of in front of you, you're probably going to tense up, hit that tail cap switch, and uh, it's going all the way down and you're hitting them with 1,750 lumens. Now, next thing is this is flat that I know of, Olight has not done this yet. This is still your charging part of this light. Your, your charger magnetically sticks to this. Um, I don't think I've ever seen Olight do this, but I really like that because it makes it a little bit easier to get to. There is a little bit of knurling on the top right here, or I guess a crenulated uh, base to it. But um, Olight says this is easier to get off like metal shavings. And I could see that because Something like this has some cracks and crevices in it, which still isn't hard to get them out. You can see I don't have anything in that, but this is definitely going to be easier to clean off um, than something like this is going to be. Um, but this will definitely fill your tactical needs. And again, this thing has a low, medium, and high, and a turbo. So if you need any of those other settings, you do have them. Um, but Unlike these that have the same settings and may have more lumens, this has direct access to the turbo mode, which in my opinion makes it a great um, tactical light. So now let's get into the darkness and show you what these beams look like. Again, the tree right here, that little tree is about, I don't know, 23 yards. The fence behind us is about 100 yards. The tree up on top of the hill, that's about almost 200 yards. To give you some reference, I do remind you of that in this video. Uh, but let's get into that and uh, I'll be back in a minute to give you my final thoughts. All right, guys. So I know these are my highly suggested lights, but I'm not comparing them. I just want you to see the beam pattern so you kind of know what to expect when you get the light. Now, we're gonna start out with the Baton 3 Pro Max, which has 2,500 lumens, 800 lumens, 120 lumens, and 15 lumens. And this is 4th of July weekend when I'm shooting this video, so you probably hear some fireworks off in the in the distance over there. So we'll just kind of talk over those. Uh, but that's why you're here over there. It's, a, it's 4th of July weekend whenever, whenever I'm doing this. So we're going to start out with the Baton 3 Pro Max. We're going to start out with the 15 lumens. It's about 10 o'clock here, and it still looks pretty light outside. At least the camera makes it look light. It's actually fairly dark. Uh, but this is about as dark as it's uh, actually going to get. So let's start out with the 15 lumens. Uh, you can see there it picks up a little bit in the camera, um, but not not a ton. Uh, if we hold the button down, it bumps up to 120 lumens. You can see right there uh, it does pick up a little bit more and shines a little bit more in the yard. If we go up one more, we go up to 800 lumens, and that really... Uh, picks things up there. That tree right there that you can see, that's about 25 to 28 yards. Um, and then there's a fence up behind it that's 100 yards. I can actually make out that fence on the high mode of 800 lumens. And look how much spill this thing has. Uh, this is why I like to use this light, especially uh, when taking my dog out at night and just doing, uh, you know, odd and end house jobs or housework. 
Uh, this is a great light for that. If we double click it and we bump that up to the 2500 lumens, uh, you can just see that lights up the entire backyard, basically. This light is such a good utility light. This is why it made the list. And uh, just the spill this light has is what makes it a good utility light, in my opinion. And it has decent throw. Uh, not as good a throw as like a more centered light, um, as we'll see in a minute. But I can still make out that fence very well up there at 100 yards. So if you wanted to use this as like a more tactical style light, um, you could, uh, but that side button, in my opinion, makes it a more utilitarian light than a tactical light. Uh, but taking your dog out or, or just checking out the outside for anything like that, you just get so much spill. Uh, two thumbs up for this being a utility light. Okay guys, so next up is probably one of my favorite EDC lights ever made. I keep thinking I'm gonna try something else, but I keep going back to this. And what are we talking about? We're talking about the arc field. This is just an amazing EDC light. It is so small, so thin, just a great, great EDC light. This is the one with the UV light. They also make it with a green laser, but you get 15 lumens on low, 60 lumens on medium, 300 lumens on high and then a thousand lumens on turbo now this is an edc light so you're not going to have a huge amount of spill or a huge amount of throw like you did see in the other two lights that have specialties of each um, this is just more of an everyday light you're just trying to find your keys you're looking your way to the car you're just you know looking at everyday items i use this at work a lot to look at things um, something that you don't need a ton of spill or a ton of throw, that's what an EDC light is. So let's turn this thing on low here. You can see that 15 or 15 lumens. I mean, it's, it's not a whole, whole lot out there to look at, but if we turn it up to medium, you can see it actually punches a little bit more out there. But when you're on an indoor setting, this is a great setting right here. We bump it on up to high you can see it really picks up it does have more spill than it does throw but there again great edc light let's double click it into turbo and just look at that now you're not getting tons of throw i can't really see that fence at 100 yards but that tree right there at 25 to 28 yards it just lights it up and you get quite a bit of spill out of this turbo um, I just think this is one of the best EDC lights ever ma ever made. It just melts away in your pocket and you get plenty of light for an EDC light. So if you're looking for something to carry every single day, this is actually my recommendation for that. All right, next we have the Warrior Mini 3 and it goes 15 lumens, 120 lumens, just like the Baton 3 Pro Max. But then you get 500 lumens on high and 1750 lumens on turbo. Now I think when we show this light here, we're gonna start out on low just like we did the other one. And when we show this one, um, you're gonna see the, probably a more focused beam pattern. So it's gonna get more throw and probably not as much spill. And it has that tail cap on the back that takes you straight into the turbo mode, which is why this makes such a good tactical light in my opinion. But if we turn this on there again, you can see that that 15 lumens has a much more focused beam. I mean, you could already see it right there. We bump it up to the 120 there again. Look at that beam. I mean, it is just so focused. Now let's go on up to high. Look at that. I mean, that's just a spotlight basically. This light is, is pretty amazing and makes a great tactical light just because you can focus on one thing. Like that fifth post up there, I can see it almost as good as I could on turbo on the other one, but you don't get the spill. That's why the other one's a, a good utilitarian light. And that's why this is such a good, you know, tactical light. So let's take that double tap into turbo mode and look at that. I mean, I'm getting some huge throw up on the side of the bank. That tree up there that you can see it lighting up is about 200 yards ish. Now, if we turn this off and we hit that tail cap on the back, you can see it goes straight into that turbo mode. A light press gets you lower, and then a hard press gets you in to that turbo mode. And in, when you're in a self-defense situation or a high-stress situation, you're gonna automatically 
tighten down. All your muscles are going to tense up and you're going to hit that turbo mode and uh, you're going to get all 1750 lumens in whatever threat you may be facing face and that is definitely enough to disorient an assailant especially as focused as this beam is right here. Huge, huge tactical advantage right there. Okay guys, there you have it. Uh, you've seen the beam comparisons. you got the information on these lights. Um, now all you have to do is decide which one is right for you. And in my opinion, it depends on what you're using it for. Also, in my opinion, get all three because you can't go wrong with all three of them. That way you have all your bases covered. You have just your normal EDC light, your tactical light, and then your utility light. Again, the utility light you're going to use a lot uh Probably this one the most just because you'll have it on you all day long. But if you didn't have this one on you and they were just sitting side by side, you're probably going to use the Baton 3 Pro Max more than them here just because you use it around the house all the time. Um, but you can't go wrong with any of these three. You can make your decision off the beam comparisons and what you're going to use it for. And remember, there'll be a link in the description below that'll take you to Olight's website for this sale going on right now through the 14th. And remember, if at any time you see something not on sale at Olight's website, you can always use discount code GearRunner to save 10% off your order. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. We'll see you next time.